Now, a whole different type of weather going on uh, to this, this time here as we go through this July of 2023 outside. A lot of places too dry and up in Canada, that's causing us some problems with the smoke. Here's the look at the haze across central Iowa. Algona, pretty gray looking sky, West Des Moines as well. Down to the south and west, better though. A little bit bluer in Creston and our Lamoni cameras down to the south and west. That's about the only part of the state right now that is on the clearer side of the skies and air quality too, better that direction as well. But still unhealthy for most people across central Iowa. That red color means you probably should be limiting your time outside as much as possible and not avoid breathing in all those smoke particles because they are down at the ground level. That's one good thing that's going to change here as we head towards tonight. The low level smoke that we're all breathing in, that is going to get swept out into tomorrow on Monday. Notice we get rid of the nasty bright orange colors and red colors into tomorrow tomorrow on Monday. There'll probably be some haze still up high. The sky will have that kind of milky look and then we'll fully sweep out a lot of the smoke out of the sky, get bluer skies fully as we head towards Tuesday. So improvements tomorrow, air quality improvements all across the board by Tuesday. That's the smoke timeline, but it's still out there right now and it's having an effect on our temperatures. We just cannot get very warm outside today. We've undershot what was supposed to be our high, which was the middle 80s. Most of us just barely got up above 80 in the past hour or two, and that's had an impact on our storm possibilities as well. We just haven't been able to heat up enough to bubble up a few uh, clouds that could form some storms. We're still watching this boundary that's coming into the state from the north, though. That is going to continue southward through this evening. That will bring us at least the possibility of a storm or two, and it's also going to eventually push out the smoke and the humidity that's out there. So watch hour by hour. Not going to impress you very much. Maybe a couple of showers bubble up here north to south through the evening. I think by midnight tonight, it's mainly going to be a southern Iowa thing, and it's still going to be very isolated shower and thunderstorm possibilities through about daybreak. And then that front is south of the border and we'll pretty, we're pretty much dry statewide through tomorrow on Monday. And with lower humidity and fewer, less smoke outside, tomorrow's temperatures, which are going to be like today's, upper 70s is going to be really nice tomorrow. You're still just going to have that elevated smoke up high. Then as we go towards Tuesday, clouds increase from the west into the early morning hours of Tuesday. And then we've got some more storms possible. These are going to probably be more widespread daybreak Tuesday and into the middle of the day, mainly in western Iowa on Tuesday. That's your next better chance of rain. Tonight's isolated spotty, not going to be a good chance for most people. Southern Iowa late tonight, low of 60 degrees here in Des Moines, high of 78. Then tomorrow, the smoke thinning out, the air getting less muggy. And then as we head through the rest of the week, mostly dry conditions after Tuesday and a lot of 80s for temperatures as we go forward the next several days.